The next round is usually the requiring readings from the other literary magazine I'm the host of, and that is on the Dirt magazine, and the October 2022 issue is How to Become an Octopus. How to Become an Octopus. And when if and acceptances of things are what's chosen for titles of the book, and when I heard this one, I'm like, I have to include this because there's an octopus that's a tattoo place in Austin. I'm like, I have to go photograph this floating octopus over this tattoo parlor and that's going to be a cover. Um, so I'm going to share with you two poems that are toward the back of this book that are also in the book Shattering the Last Lailing. I might as well show that one off as well because that's why I'm like powering the house and doing them, you know, things in both of these. I might as well share material that is in both of them. I might as well show off my covers simultaneously. Da, 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 da. Um, they're in uh, how to be an octopus as well as shattering the glass ceiling from Cyberwit Press. And this first one that is in it is titled All the Men Have Secrets. These are women's issues pieces and actually I'm including these two because they are also translated into um, Dutch. A Dutch friend of mine uh, years ago translated these poems and so they come in translations as well. And this one, the first one is called All the Men Have Secrets. All men have secrets, and here is mine. The strength is my weakness, and now my shoulders don't stay in place. You ask me to open my eyes, but they are. At least I think they are. Why don't you take me in your arms? Why don't you seduce me? Tear me in half, rip me apart. Just don't cast me aside. I, I don't want to be strong. I mean, be strong for me, so that I can adjust my chin and not have to worry about whether or not my eyes are open. That was a short one in there, and there's another one that I'm gonna share with you that also has the translation in it, and I will turn up the page for that one, and that one, I have to pull out my Down of the Dirt book, it's called The Martyr and the Saint. The Martyr and the Saint, why am I, you can't see it on this thing, but it also exists in a translation in this piece, and let me get my dirt book out so I don't lose it, this one is called The Martyr and the Saint. They gave their daughter the name of the patron saint of television. <laughs> and television has always been the one thing he hated about her. Or was it the drinking that he needed more than her? The business has gone bad. I I'm a failure. I'm not a man. <laughs> he said he respected her. And then he'd call her a $20 whore from Vegas. <laughs> and the mother would hold the child, the saint the pure angel, hold her ears and hope she couldn't hear. Two of the shorter ones that are in Down in the Dirt as well as Shattering the Glass Ceiling. And because those are short, I'm going to share another one from this book that is also, where's my page mark for it? Um, from also in the Twitter verse periodic table of poetry. Da 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 da. See, I gotta pull these up while I can. Um, and Oddly enough, they don't have any images with them, and oftentimes if I've got a small release, I might have an image that was released on Instagram with it as well. But this one doesn't, and it was for the poem Neon, and it's titled Neon in the Air. And there are a few Chicago references, if, if Dan Weinberg was here. Anyway, anyway, this is called uh, Neon in the Air. Went to the vortex, found the only broken Glass. Looked for looked for shelter. Found only broken neon glass. Uh, the Earth Moon is only on Earth Moon. It's only found when extracted from the air. So, without shelter, faced with the vortex, I could only breathe neon in. So, had to include some dance clubs past from Chicago in that one. So that was because those were short. I'm going to share with you one poem that will be in a future piece of Testament. You've all seen the cover, the tentative cover of Testament, dun dun dun, Testament. And this one is, haha, -ha, titled Once on Future Rights. <sighs> Whether a state sets up new trigger laws or chooses to revert to their insanely old laws, the end result on the surface may seem similar, but See what you've allowed by allowing to go back in time instead of moving forward. 
After the overturning of Roe v. Wade, Michigan reverted back to Chapter 750 of Act 328 of the Michigan Penal Code, which, as a fun read, bans medications for abortions, cohabitation, adultery, sodomy, and, get this, blasphemy. <laughs> so much for using the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> Granted, this ever-sweeping piece of legislation may make it illegal to steal children away for prostitution or use as sex slaves, but it also makes it illegal to sell, quote-unquote, adulterated butter or cream. <laughs> and this is only the first 5% of this law, which I'm sure even politicians don't want to read. Even if prosecutors say parts of this law are, quote, archaic, old, and have all but formally been discarded, you're missing the point. When allowing laws like this, we allow not only narrow-minded perceptions of how we treat a woman, but we also allow the government more and more access to everything personal about us. After Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok steal away your data, then you choose to give control of your most personal choices thanks to those laws we don't bother reading. <laughs> Dreading the stripping of rights from women because of laws many never agreed to, words from John Galt's speech echo ringing loud and true today as clearly as they were when they were written nearly a century ago. Quote, all that evil needs to do to win is the consent of good people. When these laws stand in women's way, remember, like prohibition a century ago, where they made failed laws to change people's behavior, once protected women's rights have now become criminal. Uh, not to the woman, she's the victim here, but to people dispensing drugs to make a woman's life easier. It took the government 13 years to get something as antiquated as prohibition off the books. So, when it comes to women's rights, women shouldn't have to wait that long for their once and future rights. Ta-da! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I ranted that all out and you got it. And thank you very much for the listen. Ladies and gentlemen, bots and goyles, it's time for the beginning of round two.